Nigerians suffering while criminals walk free. Archbishop Ojumu. The Archbishop of the African Church, Most Reverend Solomon Ojumu, has sounded a warning to the judiciary, urging them to uphold the rule of law and ensure justice is served. According to Ojumu, the masses are suffering while perpetrators walk freely due to their connections with influential individuals. He made this statement during a special church service titled Let Justice Flow at the Cathedral Church of St. Peter Ake Abokuta. Welcome to Niger Anchor News. Today we are discussing the growing concern of Nigerian suffering and the call for justice by Archbishop Ojumo. The Archbishop emphasized that the masses are suffering from the sins of the elite who continue to hold power and bury their past sins. He stressed that when truth and justice are served, society can truly be peaceful. Ojumu spoke during a special church service titled Let Justice Flow, held to usher in the 2024-2025 legal year at the Cathedral Church of St. Peter Ake Abeokuta. He maintained that when the truth and justice are served accordingly, a society can then be truly peaceful. Ojumu said, The masses are suffering not silently now, but openly without any assistance, and they will continue to suffer because the offenders and criminals are walking freely because of the people they know. The officials, the controllers of society. This is not good. Let justice flow. Today, the masses suffer the sins and errors of the elites who continue to have their way in power and bury their past sins. How long are we going to continue this? When are we going to have a fair state? When will the truth thrive? Justice is very important to maintain peace in a society. He urged them to discharge their duties properly, stating that their best may not be enough due to many bad eggs in the profession. Discharge your duty accordingly, especially our judiciary in Ogun State. You are doing your best, but your best may not be enough. Use it to depopulate criminal acts in our society. Don't take it as an opportunity, and I know you are all learned. It's a noble profession. But we who are not learned, please assist us in discharging your duty quickly to dispense justice accordingly. In his remarks, Governor Dakbo Abiodun maintained that justice is a collective responsibility and assured of his administration's continuous support in fostering an environment conducive to the rule of law. On this note, I call on all our judges to reciprocate our administration's support with even better service delivery and a heightened sense of duty. We must not become complacent. There are still many areas where improvements are needed. We must work together to address the lingering backlog of cases, explore alternative methods of dispute resolution, such as arbitration and mediation, and invest in the necessary training and resources for our legal professionals. The Chief Judge of the State, Honorable Justice Muso Mola Dikbo'olu, assured of the quick dispensation of justice, adding that while more hands are needed, the Governor is aware of what it takes. We have been trying our best. We promise to continue to work hard and dispose our cases speedily. Well, we need more judges. To get more judges, we need provisions of infrastructure like courts, judges' quarters, and vehicles. The governor knows what it takes to appoint more judges, and he is aware. This is a wake-up call for the judiciary to take a stand against corruption and ensure justice is served. The suffering of Nigerians at the hands of corrupt individuals should not be tolerated. What do you think can be done to address this issue? Do you believe the judiciary will take heed of Archbishop Ojumu's warning? So let's take a look at some of the reactions from people on social media. So we have Ejo Onishi. Ejo Onishi said he's always on the side of the truth without fear or favor. And we have It's Kenny. It's Kenny said what money cannot do, more money can do. And lastly from Uzodima. Uzodima said he is the foremost man that makes me proud. That's all for now. Share your thoughts with us in the comment section and stay tuned for more news updates on Niger Anchor News.